And the other thing that I've been seeing a lot of and hearing a lot about lately um, is Jezebel. So maybe speaking a little bit about Jezebel and where you may have seen Jezebel show up in your life, because it's the Jezebel spirit. You know, it um. is an attack <laughs> against us um, by somebody because, well, they were, they're allowing Satan to use them Wow, for intimidation, control, um, you know, they're throwing those swords, those arrows at you to get you off of the path. And um, where you have perhaps are under attack by your own Jezebel in your own life. Um, and that witchcraft, that is, that's what it is. That is against wow. you. <laughs> Candy, I see, is possibly going through this at this time. <laughs> <laughs> God is something else. <laughs> wow. I don't even know how you even just interject. Like I, this has got to be God. <laughs> I I am literally in the midst of that right now. So much so that um, because we're watching it and seeing it, this is why we have to be very well churches um, because that spirit is rampant now. Um, and, you know, in the separation of saying you have to love the person and understand, like scripture says, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood and how people are being deceived and being used by Satan. And so I literally had a meeting yesterday with the pastors concerning someone that's in our church that literally has launched an attack against me. And this was yesterday. Um, and the reason I'm not on the camera is because it's it really bothered me. Um and, you know, it, it really, really bothered me. But the Lord has been just um, kind of, he's been strengthening me. He's had the pastor send messages, you know, out to me to recognize what spirit this is, the Jezebel spirit and understanding what it is and how we have to conquer it and how it they literally cut it down, you know, cut down what was happening. And that brought me to scripture. I think it was in first Peter. I think it's Four, I think it's first and second Peter four, just explaining like this is nothing that's, you know, new just happening to me. This is just the time that we're living in. But just to recognize what's taking place and then at the same time, pray for this person that, you know, the enemy would just release her, that she would be delivered from this. But I watched it in action yesterday. So that's why I'm saying, wow, like, first of all, I stumble at this to come on to study <laughs> and then just for you to bring that up at the end <laughs> well yes because i i feel like um like you said it is it is a a spirit that especially if we're on god's path at all and we're mm -hmm. working to do his purpose we are going to get hit by all kinds of jezebels and a lot of times, just like you said, Candy, they're in the church. And mm -hmm. that is the most disconcerting because they think you think they're 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 your best friend or you know, <laughs> their family or they're, you know, on the sitting on the pulpit, you know, and they are attacking you because you are on the right path. Jesus. Amen. That is what you need to know. It might not feel like it. It certainly is. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. <laughs> oh, it does not feel good. And, and it leaves you questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. Is this person right? What they said? Or am I in the, especially when it's a Christian person, <laughs> you know, Mm -hmm. Am I in the wrong somehow? Did I do something wrong? You know, do I need to correct something and mm -hmm. leave you? It takes the, it takes the, it takes away your confidence. It takes, it knocks your feet out from underneath you, you mm -hmm. know, uh, takes the steam out of you. And that's all it's designed to do that. Leave you questioning yourself, you know, mm -hmm. um, it is a literal attack from the enemy. 
and uh, I have been going through it <laughs> myself, <laughs> seeing it around me. Um, and, you know, and I just want to assure anybody and, it, you know, whoever wants to share what they're going through, that it is because you're actually doing what God is asking you to do. And the enemy sees you as a threat. Yeah. Yeah. What I will say is that what has been, and I've been in this, like just thinking about uh, Elijah, right? And um, how Jezebel came for him after the Lord worked, you know, one, you know, a miracle through him. And so how just the one word, like that one attack had him running away. So then I started reflecting for myself and just to your point, it's like, okay, I'm doing what it is that the Lord has called me to do. So these attacks are going to come, but I can't be fretful. You know, I can't fret what's happening. I can't be in a place where now it's going to shut me down because the enemy then would win. <laughs> and, and I do not want that to be the case. And so the word tells us that we have to endure. We have to persevere. Um, and, and, you know, we have victory. <laughs> you know, we have victory in all of this. And I just want to continue to press and do kingdom advancement and and that's it, you know, and that's it. And ah, oh, it's just, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, what was I going to say along those lines uh, to follow up what you were saying there? Oh, Eli excuse me, Elisha, part of, part of what happened with him is it was fatigue. Yeah. He was worn out. You know, and in his fatigue, he allowed, you know, he had nothing left in the tanks, actually. And so he allowed uh, her threats, amazing as it seems, but we're, we're, we all do that. We have this, um, this we, we're over here on the, at the top, you know, everything's going great. And um, we've we've put everything into it, all of our all of ourselves into it, and then we hit that, and then we then some Jezebel comes and whew, bowling yeah. ball at our feet, you know, and in our now in our then we get into our humanness, we get into, yeah. and we get into fatigue, and it's not by might, not by power, our power, but by the spirit that. Um, that we can overcome this. Amen. You know, um, and the beautiful part about that story is the love that Jesus had for Elisha, mm -hmm. feeding him, giving him, you know, ministering to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if we can just see that, that is what Jesus is doing to, if we'll allow it, because we, we get into our stuff and then we can't see anything else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If we come to him, because when, when I, and I'm still, but God was reminding us, reminding me, look at me, remember what I told you, you know, yes. come to me, um, you know, that is where we're going to find our sustenance. Amen. And uh, so, wow. so yes. how do you pronounce your name? Patria. Patria. So Patria and everyone else that's on here, literally, if I think about what you just said, um, the Lord has sent y'all as ravens for me in this season. Um, I do have a ministry that um, it's six days a week, literally, where I've been teaching and doing prayer. Today is the first day, like, and we've been in ministry, I think it's uh, seven years, it's seven years. And so this is the first time that I've ever heard God say, take a pause. So today is the first day that the ministry, we're not going to be online with the ministry for July and August. And uh -huh. I was hearing that, you know, you need to refresh. So I receive everything that you're saying. It's just like, it's like it's a confirmation. And I think I have gotten, you know, tired and so, um, and weary. And so the attacks have been hitting me even more so, and I need to be strengthened. And literally today is the first day that I have not had my ministry <laughs> to do teaching of the word and I'm like what do I do and your you, your thing popped up on Facebook I'm like well what's that and then I'm here so I'm seeing that as you and everyone that's here 
is that raven that God is sending, like just to feed and it's okay. You're going to be refreshed. And, and Jesus, like he's with me. And so I, I thank you for this. I, I really, I really do. Wow, Candy, I have goosebumps. See, Jesus loves us and yes. he uses any opportunity that he can find to confirm that mm -hmm. um, and to, to refresh us. Amen. And just, just in the confirmation is the refreshing. Amen. 